Hello. In this short video, we will talk about how to set up a community in Brightspace. A community is a group of people who come together around a central interest, concern, or profession. In Brightspace, a community can serve as a place to share information, collaborate on projects, or learn together. How to request a community in Brightspace? The process is very similar to the process we had in Blackboard. You will send an email to helpdesk at georgebrown.ca, including the name of your community, the names and IDs of the leaders, and the names and IDs of the participants. One important change that we must uh, all know is that in Brightspace, leaders will now have an instructor role and participants will have a learner role. So these are a few ideas uh, that might inspire you to create a community so, for example, it could be a community of practice or inquiry around a common interest. For example, it could be a community around educational technology where faculty and staff from across the college can meet, can share resources, ask questions, give feedback to one another as they explore educational technology tools and they incorporate them into their teaching or into their daily work. It could also be a community of practice about accessible education, scholarship of teaching and learning, or virtual reality in education. These are just some ideas or some possible themes or, or common interests. Uh, so it is a place where faculty and staff and colleagues can learn together and, and can explore new ideas together. It could also be a place to communicate important information, guidelines, and requirements to your students and provide guidance to those who, re who need it. Uh, for example, first year nursing students, they're starting their college journey. There's lots of things they need to do, requirements they need to meet. So this uh, community would be a, a great place to share information with a bunch of students at the same time and also offer a place where they can find answers to their questions. They can ask questions. They can find resources and connect with other students and with faculty in their in their program or maybe it's for fourth year commerce students, they're about to graduate, there's lots of things they need to get done before they graduate. So this is another place where they can find support and resources. And another uh, example of a community can be a place where instructors are working together in the development of a course or a program. So now we're gonna go into Brightspace and I will share with you a few ideas, recommendations uh, to get started uh, setting up your community. And hopefully this will inspire you to, to create a community if you need one, or if you already are, have a community or are planning to have a community, maybe some of these ideas can, can be incorporated into your work. Now I'll share a few recommendations to help you get set up with your community. A community is essentially, or has essentially the same functionality as a course shell. However, it has a different purpose. It is uh, for self-paced learning. It's a place to gather. It's a place to learn together uh, or to communicate important information with a group of people. However, you can take advantage of some of these great tools in, in Brightspace to set up your community. So one first recommendation would be to send an announcement. So you can create a new announcement to your students, a welcome announcement to the members of the community to uh, to introduce the community to them, send them important information that, that they should know once they join the community. And you can use um, release conditions and you can use intelligent agents to customize or personalize when this information is sent to new members, for example. Another idea is to use discussions to create a place where members of the community can ask questions and, and answer the questions of other members, but also as a place to have discussions and share ideas about a specific topic or theme. So you can create discussions here and allow participants to, to join the conversation. One other thing that you can use is the activity feed. So this is a more informal place for, for sharing resources and getting some input from your participants. So for example, here, I added a video, um, this is called How AI Could Save, Not Destroy Education, and I was able to embed a, a video from TED. So my students that, or the members of this community can now comment on this video and share their thoughts. So this is a place for some 
uh, informal uh, conversations with the members of a community and also a place to share interesting resources. You could also have uh, a discussion where you allow members to share uh, interesting information, articles, videos, podcasts that they find that are related to the topic of your community. So that could be another discussion that you create. One discussion for asking questions, uh, discussions on, on specific topics where folks can share their thoughts and, and deepen their understanding of that topic, but also a discussion thread where they can share things that they find that are interesting and relevant to the community. Another great tool in Brightspace that you can leverage in the community is the FAQ. So this is a place where you can create questions uh, and answers for the members of the community. So these questions that are uh, recurring that folks are always asking, you can have an FAQ with all of these questions so that participants can find the answers easily. So especially if you're thinking about a community uh, for students and maybe first year students, there's lots of things they need to do, documents they need to submit or requirements that they need to meet. You can ha have this section with FAQs for them to review. Um, another great tool that can be leveraged in the community is a checklist. You can create a checklist in, in your content area uh, to help learners or members of the community keep track of the things they need to do. Again, very helpful for communities, for students um, from a specific program or, or from a specific year so that they can keep track of the things they need to do uh, outside of their courses. So they have to submit a CPR uh, certificate or if they have to complete some training or if they have to submit um, different documents, you can have a checklist to help students with that. Uh, you can also use groups to, to engage students or members of a community in smaller teams and, and have conversations and develop uh, knowledge together or maybe work on a specific project within the community. Uh, intelligent agents, as I mentioned earlier, is a good way to personalize information and communication for the members of a community. Surveys is another great tool that you can use in a community to learn more about the experience of, of the members of a community. This is a, a place where confidentially participants can share their thoughts, their concerns, or suggestions that they may have for the community. So as opposed to a discussion, which is open to all the members and everyone can respond, a survey is meant to be private, and you can even make it an anonymous survey as a place where folks can provide feedback. Um, well, there's also Zoom. So if you are having some periodical synchronous sessions, then you can use Zoom to set those up. And another recommendation is to use the content area to organize the materials in the community and taking advantage of the modules uh, to create a table of contents uh, with the important information that the participants will need. So welcome to our community, um, a message uh, that includes the purpose of the community and important information about the leaders of the community, for example, and you can always use um, the video tool, which is one of my favorites. And there is a video tool in Brightspace and uh, that allows you to record yourself uh, giving an introduction, for example, to the community. So it gives the community a more personal touch. You can also have an area for community guidelines and instructions, an area for additional resources. If you need to request the community, uh, send an email to helpdesk at georgebrown.ca, including the name of your community, the names of the leaders and their IDs, and also the name of the participants and their IDs. And if you want to discuss uh, how to design it, how to set it up, and just brainstorm some ideas to engage your audience, feel free to connect with the Teaching and Learning Exchange. And we are always happy to have a conversation and explore ways to engage participants and to create effective communities for our learners. So thank you for watching the video and goodbye.